18, Coach Aaron here for your workout for the 4th of November. So Thursday, the 4th of November. All right, so what we're going to do is going to go through your warm up first of all. all right, so your warm up is going to be three sets of 10 kettlebell swings. Okay, so kettlebell swings, hinging, snapping through, you nice and tall, nice and long with that kettlebell swing. Then we're going to go up five burpees, two to four. Jumping nice and tall, flat bit above the head, okay, and then into 10 squats, okay, so nice and controlled squats, hang out down there for a little bit at the bottom of each rep, okay, just to loosen up the hips, get ourselves ready for some squatting. Then our strength portion to the day, right, if we're doing the barbell, we've got two different options of the barbell, so if we're going to go light, alright, so on the light side, we've got 9, 7, 5, 3, hey. Alright, so on the light side we've got 9, 7, 5, 3, drop and reset snatches, okay? If we're going a little bit heavier, we're going to get heavier as we go through. We've got 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, okay? Alright, so drop and reset snatches. Alright, so we're going to be setting up the idea behind this just to make sure that we're sitting at every rep. We're in a good position at every rep, okay? It's not just a being half at the floor sort of position. Alright, so setting myself up. Then from here, through. Reset, squeeze tight, drop, reset. So we're still getting that barbell cycling sort of stimulus, but making sure that we're holding good form throughout, okay? That's going to be the same for the loading, so getting heavier as we go through. On the kettlebell dumbbell version, we're going to go through a dumbbell squat snatch or a dumbbell power snatch. So the reps are going to stay 9, 7, 5, 3, okay? So with the squat snatch, pulling through into that squat, pressing it out. Okay, keep it standing up, keeping that arm nice and locked out. Okay, or power snatch if we're not as proficient with the squat snatch. Okay, if you do want to play around with these squat snatches, but you're still working on them, all right, focus on catching it and then riding down through it and standing up. Okay, then uh, on the no equipment side, what we have is we've got nearly broad jump to a broad jump. So, what they will look like is from this position here, I'm going to jump up to my feet and then jump through. Okay, so jumping through, max distance, so we're going to have five of those, four, three, two, one. Okay, or if we're unable to jump from our knees, we're just going to do a normal broad jump, okay, for as long as we can, or as further as we can. Alright, on all of these uh, different versions, okay, after each set, we're going to do a max handstand hold, or a 10 to 12 meter handstand walk, or we're going to go into 10 to 12 pike shoulder taps. Okay, so the pike shoulder taps, my pike position being as high as possible and then going through my shoulder taps through there. Okay? We're going to spend 16 minutes on that strength. If you're at home, obviously you can just cruise through that at your own pace. Yeah guys, you can wait for me. Alright? Sweet. Alright, and the conditioning piece today. You can just talk quietly. Alright? Alright, on our conditioning piece today we've got 4 by 3 minute AMRAPs with a one, rest, one minute rest in between each of these three minute blocks. Okay, so if we're doing the class today, okay, or we've got the dumbbell kettlebell version. All right, so it's 30 dumbbell box step overs, okay, or lunges. Box step overs on the dumbbell, stepping over 30 reps, okay, or lunges, okay, so if we've got dumbbell on the shoulder or the goblet squat, lunging through, okay, it's gonna be reverse or stepping forward. After that, we've got 30 one-arm thrusters, okay? 30 total reps, so you might do 15 each arm. Okay, then we've got 30 burpees. Okay, so down to a, uh, to a burpee position on the floor. Jump up nice and tall. Then we have three unbroken Turkish get-ups each side, okay? So the, the kicker is with this uh, Turkish get-up is if you drop any of those three reps on that side, then you have to restart, okay, from that first rep again, okay, so if I'm two reps in, I'm on my third, and the dumbbell comes down, or I break up that rep, then I have to start all over again on that side, okay, if I've done the three on the other side, and it's only on the second side that I break up, you're just working on that second side, okay, to get those done, all right, on, if you're at home and you only have a barbell, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to do back rack step ups or lunges, okay, so the barbell will be up in the back rack, Alright, so it might be a step up on something if you have something to step up on, or you'll be doing lunges, okay? You can do them as reverse, 
or a stepping forward, that is fine as well. Then we've got thrusters. Okay, so barbell in the front rack position. Down to that squat, punching through. Then we have those burpees again, and then a 200 meter run. If you've got a machine, 200 meter run. Um, if you can't run and you have a machine, they go quite to about, I would say 15 and 12 calories on the machine. If we don't have any equipment at all, okay, we've got 40 walking lunges, okay, so just walking through, standing up nice and tall, then that knee kiss the ground nicely. Then we've got 10 burpee shuttles, so the shuttle is 10 meters. So you're gonna do a burpee, shuttle out, shuttle back, that's one. We're gonna do 10 of those. After that, 30 burpees, and then to finish off, 10 burpee shuttles. So that's the AMRAP, so we're going from top to bottom, okay? and then cycling through all the way through those AMRAPs. How this is gonna work is essentially, this is a normal AMRAP, but you have to have a one minute rest after every three minute block, okay? So I will do three minutes. Let's say I get halfway through the thrusters, I'll rest for a minute and then I'll carry on from there for three more minutes, stop where I am after three minutes, and then carry on after that one minute rest again. And that will continue throughout those four three minute AMRAPs with a one minute rest. Cool? All right, so that's your workout for Thursday, the 4th of November. Cool? Have a fun one, team. Look after yourselves. Stay safe.